guys, it's Katie with String Expert. Today I want to talk to you about this concept of mental practicing. If you go and check out my new book, A Simple Guide to Music Lessons, in there we have an entire chapter devoted to practicing. And I think practicing is so important. But what happens when your lips are tired, your voice is tired, your fingers are tired, and you simply physically cannot practice anymore? Should you just be able to stop and give up practicing? Well, it's probably a good idea to rest your hands, rest your voice, or whatever you use to make music with, but you can still practice your music. And this is also great if you're traveling, you have a long commute to school, you're on a bus, anything like that where you have some significant amount of time and you can't actually physically practice, this is what you're gonna do. So we call this mental practicing. What you're doing is you're essentially pulling out the music and going through the music and double checking your notes and really thinking in your brain and visualizing you playing this piece perfectly. Sometimes this can be really efficient if you listen to the piece of music while you're reading through. You can also take notes and remind yourself of different fingerings, that kind of a thing. Um, but the goal is to really focus on making sure that you can visualize what you're doing figure out the notes in your brain so when you come back to actually playing the music, you're gonna play it really, really well.